Is this, is the sounds okay? When I first came in, I thought it's a bowl of cereal. Lucky I had breakfast. Hey guys, I'm Xiaoyang Liu. Hi everyone, my name is Xiaolin Liu. I'm representing Team China. And I'm a short track speed skater. And I'm a short track speed skater. If you could not be in speed skating, what job would you do? If I could, I wouldn't change it. But if I have to, I think I would be a model. Well, I would probably do something like close to sports, I guess, because it's always fun to, to work with sports. I was I, I'm wondering just like, if he's coming, just ask the same question. What would, what would he be if he would not be a skater? You don't know, I know. What, he, what he's going I to be. I think he would, he would say the same. You would say the same? Yeah. Oh yeah? <laughs> Supermodel family. I was gonna say that first. I would probably do that as well. The biggest inspiration. I think for an athlete in, in their life, there's so many influences happening and can change so fast. I felt really lucky because my brother was always there for me. He was part of my life, part of my sport career. He was there from the beginning and hopefully he's going to be there at the end as well. Like every time when we went to a competition, like he was always there for me. Like if I needed something or if we, we have to do something, we were always there for each other. So it is really good uh, to have someone in, in your life to, to trust with blindly. Like growing up in, in the Chinese culture, my, my father always taught us like we have to help each other. At the end of the day, you only have your brother next to you. So, so any medals, any results we get, it's always for the Liu brothers. We never try to, to fight against each other. So we always try to support each other. And that's why I think the other skaters like really scared about us because it, no matter what happens, I will never push him out or I will never try to push him out. Is one of the two more provocative? Well, yeah, he's like, he talks more, definitely. <laughs> I don't think there was jealousy. I always beat him up every day. What do you hope for the sport in five years, in ten years, in twenty years? I think our sport is really watchable. Short track is it's still a pretty young sport. I think it's a really exciting sport. It can still improve a lot. What person? Well, it has the name in it, so I was thinking about it a lot because it's short track speed skating. So I, I think I would do some more kind of short distances, maybe just uh, to get a little bit more exciting. So more distances and more speed in it because this is what's in the name. And what's the deal with the eyebrows? Yeah, the lucky eyebrows or the dangerous eyebrows. Oh, which one do you prefer? The lucky eyebrows. It was, it's a really funny story because I was sitting with my coach and one day she was looking at me, like, looking at me. I was like, what, is there something on my face? And she was like, your eyebrows are so funny. You should touch them before the race. Maybe it brings you good luck. And I was like, okay, I will try to do that in the final. But like before, I was like, every, every heat, every, every, every round, I tried touching my eyebrows because I thought it's, it's really meant to be lucky and I was touching my eyebrows for the first time and the crowd loved it. So I think it just become my small routine and, and make, gives me joy. So I'm doing it all the time. Mm -hmm.